It's Monday, a new week and a fresh start. I'm Diane Southard, and welcome to Monday Minutes, your quick dose of inspiration and reflection. Each week, we'll spend just a few minutes exploring the meaning in everyday situations. We cover topics that enrich our lives, from personal growth to deepening connections. Today's topic, do you listen, hum, or sing? My husband leaned forward slightly and gave a hard glare to the person sitting two seats to my left. But my father-in-law continued humming, oblivious to my husband's eye daggers. We were in a Bravenel Hall listening to the Utah Symphony. My father-in-law loves classical music just as much as my husband, but apparently they have different opinions on concert etiquette. It got me thinking about how different the etiquette was from a concert of one of my favorite old school country music bands I went to last summer. I sang my heart out for two and a half hours, as did everyone around me. There was no silence, no humming. Why the two very different music-loving sets of expectations? I'm sure there are lots of reasons, but here's what I decided. In my summer concert, it was all about the lyrics. The music itself was just a vehicle to deliver the words. But with classical music, there are several different melodies all going on at once, all coming together to create one sound. To hum one melody elevates one sound to the level of vocals, emphasizing that sound unnaturally and upsetting the balance of the experience. I realized that I often go through my day with an outdoor country music concert mindset. I'm focused on my own vocals, pushing my own agenda, and accomplishing my list of to-dos. But perhaps I should sit back and listen to the sounds of the orchestra around me and see how I can better blend my melody with theirs to create something none of us could create on our own. Oh. And my husband did finally get his dad's attention. The humming stopped, much to his relief. And he asserts to the relief of those around us. Thanks for spending this minute with me. If you want to get a weekly inspiration to your inbox, use the link below to sign up for our Monday Minute newsletter. And let's make this week count, one minute at a time.